we are taking a look at the maxilla in this video. So I'm going to be taking off the top and moving that to the side. And I've also disconnected the mandible so that we can easily pull that over to the side. And we're going to be kind of zooming in here on the front of the skull. The majority of this area right in here is the maxilla. So we're going to point out a few of the bones it articulates with. So I'll kind of start here on the side. This is our zygomatic bone and we can see a suture where the zygomatic bone meets the maxilla. If we look on this into the orbit, there is the lacrimal bone right in here, which is one of its bones that it makes contact with, as well as we have the nasal bone, and right up at the top we have the frontal bone. And then inside the nose we have the vomer, which is going to be one of its connections there. And if I look in the underside, uh, these are palatine bones. So this is a connection between the maxilla and the palatine bone and we will return to that. Okay, I'm gonna start up in and around the orbit. So again, the orbit or your kind of your eye socket, we have more medial and a bit of the inferior part of this orbital margin. This is made up of maxilla. So again, the orbital margin. So far we have the frontal bone, zygomatic, and now maxilla making that outer ring. And we'll talk about inside the orbit in a different video. But right up in this area here, this is known as the frontal process of our maxilla. So that's kind of central. We have nasal bones and just lateral to that is going to be maxilla making connection with the frontal bone and then the lacrimal bone is going to be even more lateral to that. So on both sides, the left and the right, we have that frontal process. If we go down and towards the nose, we can see this projection sticking out right here. This is known as the anterior nasal spine. And then as we go up into the nose, it's gonna be a different bone heading up in between the left and right nostril. So anterior nasal spine. The bottom of this nose opening right in here is known as a nasal notch. So it's kind of where I'm pointing at with my finger right now. It's hard for me to get my finger inside there, but this inferior part, this is a nasal notch. Inferior to that notch, we are gonna talk about our teeth. So these are incisors, these front four teeth. So superior to two of them, lateral to that nasal spine, inferior to that notch. This is known as an incisive fossa. So again, I have both a left and a right incisive fossa. We'll discuss some muscle tissue later on attaching into this area. As I go lateral from the incisive fossa, I will cross over a raised area for this third tooth known as the canine tooth. This is the canine eminence. So the eminence is this kind of raised area right in here. So we have incisive fossa, canine eminence, and then lateral to that, there's another impression on this side, and this is known as the canine fossa. Incisive fossa, canine eminence, canine fossa. If we go superior to that, just below the orbit, we will see a foramen. So again, orbit, and this is below that. So this is the infraorbital foramen. Again, we have a left and right on both sides. And we're making our way over towards that zygomatic bone again. So this part of the bone is known as the zygomatic process of this maxilla. So we had a maxillary process of the zygomatic bone, and then we have a zygomatic process of this maxilla. So that is the majority of these external. I'm going to be turning this way as we're looking more of an inferior. Now I'm pinching both inside and outside, and each one of these teeth are inside what's known as an alveolar process. So they usually have the external surface of the alveolar process. You might talk about that for a muscle attachment, um, but each one of those, you consider them basically like a tooth socket. Okay, and lastly, we're gonna look at an inferior view. Just in behind your incisors, there is an opening known as the incisive canal, and this is going to lead up into your nose, so incisive canal. We have a suture that's running down the center between the, the left and right 
different maxilla here. And this is the palatine process. That's the palatine bone. But these are palatine process of the maxilla. And this is an intermaxillary suture that kind of separates the left and right here. Okay, so palatine process versus palatine bone. This is of the maxilla. And again, a suture that separates the two of them. So those are going to be the bony landmarks that we discuss of the maxilla today.